Now, Dr. Tamara Pfeiffer is a leader on the African continent in medical biohacking and life extension medicine. In 2019, she was a finalist in the Woman of Stature Healthcare category for her extensive work and research. Now, she joins us on the couch to chat about her important work. Now, if you've got any questions for Dr. Tamara, head over to our socials using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Welcome to the studio, Tamara. Thank you so much. This topic for me is so mind-blowing because I just keep learning more and more about it and it's something that you've become so so passionate about which I just enjoy seeing you know getting this medical information to patients is so important how did your journey with medicine begin so interestingly enough I've always been interested in medicine but how my journey towards medical biohacking happened was straight after I qualified a lecturer from America came through and I really admired him and he said something that just rocked me to my core and what he said was it takes between 30 and 50 years for new research to filter down into general practice. Wow. Now, when you think about the fact that every 78 days, we double our information mm -hmm. when it comes to medicine, what are we doing doing things from 30 to 50 years ago? Totally. It's crazy. So from that day on, I woke up at three o'clock every morning and I studied all the new journal articles and I made sure that I was always at the top cutting edge of research. Mm. But then I realized that it doesn't help if just I know that and I can only help so many patients a day. Mm. So we started writing courses, master's level courses for doctors and medical specialists on advanced preventative medicine and precision medicine. Mm. And then from there on, I really, really became passionate about the idea that health should be more than just the absence of disease. We should be optimized. Yeah, absolutely, running your body at its most optimal level. What exactly is biohacking? So, if we think about the way we currently are, uh, generally in South Africa, is we get stronger and smarter and faster up until around the age of 30. Mm. And then we get sicker and slower and a little bit more frail and more dependent on our loved some. ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For about 50, 60 years. Yeah. Now that is not only expensive financially, it's horrible emotionally mm. to become frail and sore and, and uncomfortable. What it's been shown in research is that centenarians, so people who live over 100, mm. they only spend a third on healthcare compared to people who die between 60 and oh, 70. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, but why? What are, they, what are they doing differently? So the reason is that they only start to decline in their last two to five years of life. Mm. So we need to really, really focus in our healthcare system on extending health span yeah. and reducing sick So span. how is it possible then to live without aging? Please tell so, me now. <laughs> The real secret is that it's in precision medicine. Yeah. One size fits all is very old medicine. Yeah. So it's really, really important. You know, we live in this body every day, all day, mm. for us to know our bodies, for us to understand our biochemistry, to do a really good set of blood tests. Yeah. That tells us what's happening right now. Mm. And then to do genetic tests, because genetic tests can tell us what your future could be. And you have something very exciting up your sleeve. I mean, with your um, skin DNA and, and yes. your testing DNA. How does that work and how can we get involved? Because girl, I need something personalized <laughs> for me exactly because I'm not trying to age. So there's two kinds of genetic testing. There's high penetrance genetic testing that tells you you've got a very high incidence of getting a certain disease. What we do is low penetrance genetic testing. So what that does is it gives us the map that if we design our diet and lifestyle and the skin DNA is even more exciting mm. because it tells you exactly which ingredients to put on the skin and which aesthetic treatments to do wow. to change your, your skin aging destiny or your health destiny. So wow. you can, you've got 75% <laughs> control. Best friends, by the oh, way. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful. So is there a specific difference then between anti-aging and biohacking? It depends on how you look at it. Okay. So for me, it's the same thing because I want your biological age to always be younger than your chronological mm. age. Mm. That's incredibly important. We should be feeling 30 up until we're 60 and the new research mm. is showing that. So biogerontology, which is the actual word for medical biohacking, okay. it looks at the science of cleaning up the accumulative damage in the body before it causes aging. Mm. And if this works and if we get to that, which is in the next five to 10 years, they're saying, this is the scientific research behind living to 200 and beyond that. Awesome. Lovely. Oh, that's incredible. I can't wait to live to 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've asked you on social media if you've got any questions for Dr. Tamara. And we've got Shireen Adams using the hashtag Afternoon Express saying, Hey, Dr. Tamara Pfeiffer, besides living a healthy lifestyle, how do you maintain your wellness? So it's very, very important to, I would say the number one thing, sleep hygiene. 
and managing stress. What is sleep mm -hmm. hygiene? So sleep hygiene is making sure you go to bed at the same time every day. And why that's so important is that the janitors in your brain that clean up the accumulative damage that happens normally during the day, yeah. they only switch on when you're sleeping. Okay. So if we're not sleeping, we've got more inflammation, <clears throat> we've got more stress. They've shown an increased risk of autoimmune diseases, inflammatory diseases, and even cancers in people who do night shift working and don't have proper sleep hygiene. Can you sleep too much? Yes. Oh, what's so, too much? <laughs> I'd say <laughs> seven to eight hours generally is a good amount of sleep. But again, if you can do your genetics, you can know exactly. Oh, I can't wait to do my genetics. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. What a fantastic, fascinating conversation. You're amazing. You. We now have ASTs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judy Kaywood and Mr. Skosana from the Hadelberg Stroke Support Group join us right after the break.